Ta-da! Wow, then this is legit. This is legit. Hey guys, it's your girl Tina here. Today I am back with more viral TikTok recipes. As some of you may know, I am pregnant, so I've been extra hungry and scrolling on TikTok doesn't help, but that's why I'm filming this video today. So I can eat. Don't forget to thumb this video. Let's start off with the first recipe. I think this one is the most popular one on TikTok at the moment, and it's the salmon bowl. Okay, so in the TikTok, I think she just had leftover salmon. In my case, I actually air fried this earlier and now I'm going to just break it up. Once it's all broken up and flaky like this, we can add in the rice. Then I'm gonna add in some soy sauce. Some sriracha. And then some Japanese mayonnaise. Give that a good mix. I don't know if this is looking very appetizing at the moment. Double down on the sriracha. I'm gonna add in some green onions for color and some sesame seeds on top. Okay, time for the taste test. So in the video, she eats it with some seaweed and kimchi as a side dish. So my plan of attack is to pop some of the salmon rice onto my seaweed, like a mini sushi roll wrap, and then put a piece of kimchi on top. Like that. Ta-da! And then try to just shove it in my mouth. Mmm, it's good. It's good. Then it's good. You gotta come try. Hey, hey! I think Alfred's gonna like this one. Let's scoop him in a little bowl. He's gonna like it. Ah! <laughs> the camera just wants to see the food and not us. Presentation. This is for Alfred. Bougie. Wow. Yeah. Wrap it up like this. Yeah, you can. Okay. Mmm. It's really good. Yum, right? Yum, yum, right? Biscuit even wants some. Biscuit, you can't <laughs> have some. There's sriracha and kimchi in it. Yeah, that's pretty good. How, how many meals are you giving me? I don't think I This is the this. first course. This is the first course. He approves. He's going for a second bite. That's Alfred's bite of approval. Mmm. How many thumbs? How many thumbs? Hmm? Two dirty thumbs. <laughs> That little piece of kimchi was not enough. Let's just load this baby up. Oh, with the, with the vegetable stuff. Oh my god! That's a hack. Other way, other way. Yeah, that way. This way. Like this way. Oh god, I don't know, actually, it doesn't matter. Does it? <laughs> How small is your mouth? Mm. Why is your mouth so small, Zen? <laughs> but instead of wrapping, it's it just. Just, okay. Oh. Your mouth is not big enough. <laughs> <laughs> this one is a little bit of a weird food combination. I don't know if it's just my pregnancy taste bud speaking, but I think it's gonna be good. I've been seeing this weird food combination all over my For You page. Doritos with cream cheese topped with a pickle. Now let's give it a try. Mmm, banging. Okay, let's try this out. Got my Doritos, cream cheese. I'm going to do a mini version and then top it off with a pickle. Here goes nothing. Mm. Oh wow. It's actually good. It works. The combination marries together really well. It kind of reminds me like I'm eating nachos in a way, but with cream cheese and a pickle. Mm. Zen. Her face is disgusted right now. 
I'll make it one. Oh, I'll make you a little one. The cream cheese is actually tasty. Do the smaller pickle. Oh my god, it's a huge pickle. This is Zen's one. I feel like I should have put more cream cheese. It's processing, it's processing. She's not gagging, so that's a good sign. I think I got the pickle ratio wrong. We should have used maybe half that pickle, because <laughs> the pickle juice hit me. No wonder he used so much cream cheese. Now, I think at the start is fine, because you just taste the Doritos. And the cream cheese. Mm. The pickles, like the juice comes out then. Let's make Alfred try this delicacy. This is cream cheese and a pickle. It works for some reason. <laughs> exactly right, it works. I think the trick was to Ooh, add a lot more cream cheese. That cream cheese, yeah. More cream cheese, guys. When in doubt, load it up. A dirty Dorito thumb up. If you guys are craving watermelon and you don't have any at home, this could be the next best thing. If you put cucumber in sugar, taste would be the same like a watermelon. Let's give this a go. I'm dipping my cucumber in sugar. I can see how this could resemble a watermelon, but it tastes like a cucumber to me. Let's compare that with the real deal. I'm sorry, but the difference is day and night. The cucumber is a lot more dense, if you know what I mean. The texture's a bit wrong, but I get like how it's got a lot of water content and if you add sugar, it's sweet, but you can definitely tell the two apart. So it just tastes like a sweet cucumber. I think watermelon is better though. I've got sugar. Okay, Zen, you gotta try it. Confirm this. I think it's debunked. No, no. It just tastes like a sugared cucumber. It tastes like what it is, a sugared cucumber. That's the tiniest piece of watermelon. So much better. I'm sorry guys, if you don't have watermelon at home, you're just gonna miss out. You're gonna have FOMO. There's no point trying the cucumber. Can we make Alpha try it anyway? Mm -hmm. We need a triple confirm it. Yes. Hello, my dear. Are you gonna die? Salted you're in the buy phase. Salted vegetables? <laughs> it's that? sugar, it's sugar. sugar. <laughs> that, not so much. No. You don't no. rate it? That's a stupid hack. Get that out of here. <laughs> you can have the watermelon. I don't want... Okay, I have the watermelon. <laughs> Watermelon's a thumb up. Cucumber sugar, thumbs down. This next recipe was made famous by Gigi Hadid. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with some olive oil and then I'm gonna throw in my garlic and onion. I'm gonna saute that for a little bit. And then add in tomato paste and squeeze half a lemon in. I just wanna cook that tomato paste for a little bit before adding in some pasta water. Next, I'm gonna add in some heavy cream. A little bit of butter and parmesan. Top it off with some herbs and chili flakes. Now we can mix in the cooked pasta. Alrighty guys, let's taste my labor of love. Look at that steamy goodness. Mmm, okay, okay. I think it's pretty good, but it's not the best TikTok pasta I've tried. It's pretty decent though. It's one that's not too overly sickening, if you know what I mean. Sometimes when you eat too much pasta, you feel sick, but I feel like the flavors, it's not too intense, but it's pretty tasty, so you do come back for more. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. More chili flakes. That lemon gives it a bit of zing. Not bad. 
it's not bad. Not the best, I think I think it's just good, but it's not like wow, like the other pasta recipes I've tried. The lasagna one. Mm. Oh. That one was this is Gigi Hadid's pasta recipe. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Do you like it? Yeah. Yes? It's another hit. It's another hit, guys. How many thumbs? Is it one or two? It's two. It's two. It's, two it's, thumb. it's a two thumb. Let's finish off with dessert. This recipe only requires two ingredients. I'm going to be using the strawberry surprise ice cream from New Zealand Natural. Let's do two, maybe three scoops of this. So now I'm going to melt this in the microwave. So now that the ice cream has melted, I can add in the glutinous rice powder. And then I'll just give that a good mix. Next, I'm just going to cover the bowl with cling wrap and then poke a couple of holes in it using a fork. And then this is going to go in the microwave for one minute and then I'll give it a good mix. Now I'm just going to mix it, but it's so hot. Oh my god, it's so gooey. It's like slime or something. This is kind of fun, it kind of just bounces everywhere. Okay, so this is going back in the microwave for another 45 seconds. Okay, so this is what it's looking like, a little blubber blob of strawberry mochi. It's pretty hot, so I'm gonna let that cool for a little bit before kneading it and flattening it out. Doesn't wanna leave the bowl. <gasps> Get off the bowl. So now I've separated into three pieces and we can add in the ice cream in the middle. So that's one little ice cream done. I feel like I'm wrapping a dumpling. Ice cream dumpling. This is gonna go back in the freezer. Okay, I think the mochi feels quite hard now, so let's cut it open. It's not the prettiest, but it's got like chunks of the strawberry ice cream. Taste test time. Wow, yeah, this is legit. This is legit. I'm so excited. Mmm, the outside's a bit like chewy. Mmm, wow. Oh my god, this is so good. Mm. This is incredible. Mm. Mm. We should have melted a lot more to make a bigger batch. That's like a quadruple thumbs up from us. The skin was actually chewy and nice. I thought it wouldn't be chewy and nice because sometimes when you buy it at the store, I don't know, you just don't get that same mm. like chewy texture. But this, when you make it at home, maybe because I made it a bit thicker as well. But like the outside had really good flavor and it all comes down to the ice cream you use, guys. Don't cheap out on the ice cream because, you know, it's worth it. Alpha's gonna love this one. I okay. love this one. Oh, this one's a good one. Whoa, it's mochi. It's mochi ice cream. ice cream. Did you make this? Yeah, I made it. Yo, it's pretty good. You made this? I made it. Really? Isn't the skin really nice? It's like a bit chewy, it's got flavor. Wow, it's good. Two stars. I'm gonna <laughs> give two, too. I'm gonna give two. 
The struggle is real. Struggle. Six thumbs. <laughs> okay, guys, we have come to the end of this video. I just want to say that I'm so happy we ended with the mochi ice cream. That was a hit, guys. Out of all the recipes, I think that has to be number one. And then maybe the salmon rice for me, and then the pasta. Cucumber tasting like watermelon. That's a lie. The internet has tricked us. But I've debunked it just for you guys. Anyways, that's it from me. Subscribe if you're new here and turn on notifications. Don't forget to thumb this video. I need Zen. I need more thumbs. Don't forget to thumb this video. <laughs> and we shall speak to you guys next time. Bye. We're gonna eat the last one. The last one. The last one. Why didn't we make more? Why didn't we only make three? It's a pretty Ooh. baby. Okay, Zen. Oh, you've got extra ice cream oozing out of your one. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Wow. You need to try this, guys. <laughs> 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 <laughs>